the race is over. Both Petty and Beauchamp clock in the identical time. Three hours, 41 minutes, 22 seconds. The checkered flag for Junior Johnson. Bobby Johns is next. Uh oh Larry Franks slides into the infield and out of the way as Marvin Patch wheels his Pontiac across the finish line. Checkered flag. This amount of credit for the job of engineering they did here today. The checkered flag is up. And here he comes. Under the checkered flag, Tiny Lund has taken it. One lap lead over second, two laps over third and fourth. The crowd cheers as Richard Petty in his number 43 Plymouth takes the checkered flag going away. steadily for more than an hour and then it's over Fred Lorenzen is the winner fearless Freddy finally did it at Daytona there's the checkered flag Richard Petty wins the Daytona 500 Mario Andretti with a caution guaranteeing no change in position on the track is only a few turns away from being the first USAC driver ever to win the NASCAR sponsored 500 and he takes the checker under the yellow with Lorenzen second, James Hilton third, Tiny Lund fourth. The margin one second, Kale averaging just under 184 for the last lap in a fantastic display of determined driving. They're going close to 200 miles an hour here. And Leroy takes him. Yarbrough has taken the lead as they go side by side, splitting another car as they go by. At breakneck speed, Leroy Yarbrough has the lead on Trotz back, and Charlie now will have to come down fast to the inside under the number four turn. He will try and slingshot him if he has room. And there's no room there. They come by. Everybody standing and cheering. The checkered flag is out for Leroy Yarbrough. The checkered flag, and David Pearson running right behind him, closing in to second place, and he'll hold that position, no question about it. And Pete Hamilton has won his first major NASCAR victory, the Daytona 500. Ten different men were in first place. And there's a checkered flag. Richard Petty wins his third Daytona 500, his 120th stock car victory. He told us before the race he wanted to run it hard, lead all the way if he could, and he hasn't led all the way, but most of the way, and he wins the Daytona 500. And In turn three, Buddy Baker just blew the belly out of his heavy, and the Dodge that led most of the race had the fastest time, and with only six laps to go, looked destined for victory lane. Now it's for the garage, out of the race. Down off the high bank, fourth turn, onto the trioval, and the petty blue flies under the checkered flag, winner of the 15th annual Daytona 500. Including the Carolina 500, which will be run at Rockingham. And you'll have action at Richmond, Virginia. And the checkered flag is out. Here comes Richard Petty. They no one has ever come from this far back to win the Daytona 500. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your champion of Daytona, Benny Parsons. Parsons in the LG to win automobile has won the Daytona 500. David Pearson never gives up, comes across the line. 150 yards to go. Oh! It's an absolute straightaway. They did hit. Oh! Teddy smashes into the wall. Will he come across the start finish line? He's going to win the race. He's going to win it spinning as he, I believe, will take the checkered flag. No, he did not make it. He, he is less than 100 yards from it. Here comes Pearson. Pearson is going to try to make it across the finish line. Teddy has his car going. Pearson's going to win it. Oh, gosh, he wins the race. What the finish for the board? I've never seen anything like that. Pearson can't do it as Cale Yarbrough comes screaming down off the fourth turn to put his Holly Farm Chevy 11 in the record books as the winner of the 19th annual Daytona 500. Down in fourth place, Benny Parsons also a lap down. In fifth place, Dick Brooks two laps down. 
The checkered flag will be coming up for Allison before a crowd of more than 100,000 people, and that's it. It's all over. After an exhausting... He slides! Donnie Allison slides! They hit again! They drive into the turn! They're hitting the wall! They're head on the wall! They slide down to the inside! Let's watch those third place cars! They're out of it! Who is going to win it? Two cars are out! In the backstretch are the leaders! Watching for the leaders to... They're still up in turns three and four! The leaders are up in turns three and four! Coming down, Richard Petty is now! trying to slingshot. Petty is out in front at the line. Walter Petty wins. In this race, and even under caution, it will be the fastest race in history. Here he is coming out of turn number four. And after all those years of effort, all those heartbreaks, the 1980 Daytona 500 waving like mad as he crosses the line. Buddy Baker has done it, but not without... Out of turn number four, Richard Petty. Holding on to that lead like a hammerhead shark. Here he comes, coming down, seeking out. And is he slowing down? Is he running out of fuel? He's coming across the line slowly, but he takes the checkered flag. Flying down the checkered flag, about to come out, and sprinting to it is number 88. Bobby Allison has won the Daytona 500 for the second time in his career. Is going under Ruttman again as they come up four. Down they come to the finish. Here comes Baker on the outside of the lead. Four cars side by side fighting at the line. to find a place to run. They're coming to the finish line. At the line it is Cale Yarborough. He's done it again. Here they are coming back to the line. And after dominating all day, his crew out on pit road. Bill Elliott wins the 1985 Daytona 500. That yeah, guy's up and quicker when he goes into the turn. And he goes into the turn. He's getting mighty close. See, the needle's going down now. Right. You're riding down for the finish. Checkered flag is out, and you are with Jeff Budai as he wins the 1986 Daytona 500. Pride of Georgia, Bill Elliott, screaming car number nine to bring it home and give Ford and give the folks from Georgia something to cheer about. He comes across the line to win it by about 10 car lengths. Bill Elliott, two-time winner of the Great American Race. And they have enough lead, and I believe this is going to be a battle between the father and son. I don't think anybody David. else can try it, but here he comes. He's going to do the it. bottom. He's down low. Bobby Allison high. Davey Allison Find the inside move. Bobby Allison holds him off. They come to the stripe. And the winner of the 30th annual Great American Race, Bobby Allison. Davey Allison, his son in second. Judy Allison is static. What a tremendous family performance. Look at him, David. Bobby waving to Davey. <laughs> Out of turn four, after 17 years of effort, the Daytona 500 belongs to Franklin, Tennessee's Darrell Waltrip. He's done it. He's done it. Here comes the field driving for the finish. And on the outside, it is car number 10, Derek Cope, something to miss on the Earnhardt car. Coming to the line, it's Labonte pulling up and an amazing finish. The Ernie Irvin coming to the line and will win the 33rd annual 500 at about 55 miles an hour. Thank you. Hand out and waving. With him. Here, Here they comes come. Morgan down to the line. Davey Allison first. Morgan Shepard gets it all back there. Has he got anything left? Coming to the stripe. Morgan comes to the inside and Davey Allison is going to win the Daytona 500. You know who I'm pulling for. It's Dale Jarrett. Bring her to the inside, Dale. Don't let him get down there. He's going to make it. Dale Jarrett's going to win the Daytona 500. All right. In front, Ernie Irvin closing ground. Here they come, down the stretch for the final time. It is Sterling Marlin in the lead. Down to the inside comes the 28. Coming to the line. Sterling Marlin's going to win it. Closes in, coming to three. Sterling Marlin stays in front. Earnhardt nipping away at him here. Perched in second place. 
trying to lurch out there. Launch one final assault out of turn four. Down they come, the short 1,600 foot straight away to the finish line. And the winner of the 1995 Daytona 500 is again Sterling Marlin. And the Chevrolets race each other back there. Jack hanging on down on the inside. Come on, Dale. Put it in the back, buddy. Do all you can. Winning two Daytona 500 to be too much. Here he comes to the line, and Dale Jarrett is going to pull it off at Daytona, his second Daytona 500. Daytona 500. Jennifer Fry in the Washington Post wrote about the different style of these two people, the quiet one, Terry Labonte, the reserved conservative, and Jeff Gordon, the young and flashy one. Jennifer couldn't have hit it better, and they couldn't have hit it better. Look at them lining up to come across. Chuckers and yellow. And Terry Labonte pulls up, and here comes the 25 car up. This reminds me of the 24 hours of Daytona. Labonte up high. Earnhardt uses the left car of Rick Bass to the, as a pick. 20 years of trying, 20 years of frustration. Dale Earnhardt will come to the caution flag to win the Daytona 500. Finally. The most anticipated moment in racing. If John Elway can win the Super Bowl, Dale Earnhardt said he could win the Daytona 500. And if he comes around under caution to complete this final lap, the taste of long-awaited victory will be his. Wow, what a drive by Dale Earnhardt doing everything he had to do today. And Bobby Labonte is saying, boy, I needed that last lap. At the top of the show, you saw the steely eyes of Dale Earnhardt. I'll bet they'll be tearful when he pulls into victory lane. Let me tell you, it'll make the strongest man on earth cry when you win this race. It's special. Bobby Labonte comes across the line to the caution flag in second. Jeremy Mayfield's Ford third. Kenny Schrader with a shot at that $2 million bonus, as did Bobby Labonte. Checkered flag. Dale Earnhardt finally is a champion of the Daytona 500. But I tell you what, I feel about the same way. Look out on pit road. Every man on every crew has come out to the edge of pit lane to congratulate the man who has dominated everything there is to win in this sport, except this race, until today. That's great. There was Todd Parrott, Dale Jarrett's crew chief, other members, other team members of other Andy Petrie was there. And this will be the longest receiving line in the history of celebrations. <laughs> wow. Yep, I've never seen that, Mike. Not that many. You know, normally ever. we'll see two or three or four teams come out there, but this is something. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I had about 10 teams come out when I won this one, but look at this. Everybody knows what it means to the man that's done everything to finally get the Daytona 500. There's Derek Cope, or rather uh, Ernie Irvin's crew. There's NASCAR officials out there. There's Robert Presley's crew, Ricky Craven's team. NASCAR officials. He's shaking everybody's hand, too, if you notice. 59 races since he's been to Victory Lane. 19 Daytona 500s. Twice he led at the white flag and failed to take the checker in first place. But today belongs to the man who grew up at the corner of Coach and Sedan Street in Kannapolis, North Carolina, a mill town north of Charlotte, where he worked underneath that house in a garage on his own race cars and those of his father to become one of NASCAR's two greatest champions. He and Richard Petty, the only two drivers with seven Winston Cups on their trophy shelf. Mike, he's a long way from Victory Circle yet, and the crowd's building. And Earnhardt, along with Bobby Labonte, Jeremy Mayfield, Rusty Wallace, and again, Ken Schrader, will have a shot at that R.J. Reynolds million dollar bonus when they post it next time later this season. Last year at Darlington, South Carolina, some question. Earnhardt's ability to go 500 miles when he blanked out on the first lap at Darlington, South Carolina and had to climb from the car and go to the care center. Watch this circle. He's going to spin well, out. 
Ah, there goes the grass. Yeah. Goodbye. A smoke show. <laughs> yeah. The fellow who drives his craftsman truck, Ron Hornaday, likes to do yeah. when he celebrates a victory. And now, look at that throng. Can he get to victory lane from here? He's going to have to have a lot of help from a lot of security people Come to get on, there, guys. it looks like. I Don't want worry. to hear what he has to say. Don't worry. He's won at this racetrack 30 times. He, better than anyone, knows the way to victory lane. Right here is where he has to make, make the move. And he wasn't able to get that run up under Jeff Gordon like he wanted to. But that's what we said Friday. He was this far behind in the International Race of Champions. He, he looks inside. He goes outside. He looks inside again. Okay, right now, he's got to pull right down on that back bumper and try to get him loose coming off turn four. Spencer's race is done. I don't think the uh, the leaders are quite sure whether they got the caution or not, but I saw the caution come down in front of them, but Dale Jarrett's taking no chances. And Ned, in the glare, Spencer's car is going to be hard to see against the wall. All the spotters on the radios to their drivers, stay low. And here they come. Jarrett gets the white and the yellow flag, and Dale Jarrett is going to win the Daytona 500 for the third time. Mikey, you got him, man. You got him. Come on, man. Come on, baby. Come on. Get him in the fold. Get him in the fold. The three cars out. Oh! Big trouble. Oh. Big wreck Come behind on, them. Beat him back. Beat him back. Come on. To the flag. Come on, Mikey. You got it, man. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Mikey! All right. Michael Walton wins. All right. That's a television dream come true. Right. How about Dale? Is he okay? Schrader has climbed out of his car. He and Earnhardt have crashed together. Look, he turns three and four. Look at Buck. You may have got me on Saturday, but I got you on Sunday. Daryl, is this better than winning it? No, oh, it's better. This is great. I just hope Dale's okay. I guess he's all right, isn't he? is his best previous finish in the 500. Now in his eighth try at the Great American Race, it's going to be Ward Burton driving his Dodge to victory lane. Checker flag is up, and Ward Burton is going to win the 44th Daytona 500. Uh, not sure if it's the same problem, the alternator not charging, or a different one. I, yeah, what, what the deal was, Michael, he wanted to get out of there. They're going to put the car cover on. He had to get out of there. So we're red flagged for rain for the second time today. There's a big band of showers on the back straightaway and over turn number three. And I'll tell you, NASCAR fans are a hardy bunch, even though they're limited what they can bring into the Speedway. <laughs> team and well, I know it's just got to make you. Well, look at him. Let it rain, baby. He's had a great speed weeks. <laughs> In his second Daytona 500 win, I guess we've done three races from here, and he's won all three of them. Kurt Busch finishes second, Jimmy Johnson in his third, Kevin Harvick, Mark Martin. Well, you can't get emotional yet because you've got to get off turn four and back to the start-finish line. And you can see it now. The legacy continues. Dale Earnhardt Jr. wins the 46th Daytona 500. Six cars have a chance to win it. Jeff Gordon's going to lead them into turn four. They're one mile from home. Tony Stewart just slid up the racetrack. He and Jimmy Johnson are going to make contact. Three wide. They're bouncing off each other. Jeff Gordon's going to win his third Daytona 500. Kurt Busch, Dale Jr., and Scott Riggs. That's a... That's a... Oh, got crash behind him. Crash behind him. The caution is out. The race is over. 
Jimmy Johnson has won the Daytona 500. Harvick's getting a run off turn four. It's going to be a drag race all the way back to the start finish line. No caution. They're side by side, right to the line. Big crash. Here they come. Checkered flag. Harvick. Kevin Harvick wins the Daytona 500. We got one car. And there's still oh, roof coming across the start finish line. They're, like still wrecking. they're wrecking everywhere. Boyer's on fire. He's going to have to make it wide. Pedal, Pedal baby. Pedal. 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 Have to make it wide. Pedal. It's the Boilermaker, Ryan Newman. Ryan Newman, Roger Penske wow. win the Daytona 500. Way to go, guys. Way to go. Roger Penske's wow. first restrictor plate win and his first one-two finish. And done it in style, man. One-two. We'll get this race restarted this evening. If not, right now, Matt Kenseth is the leader over Kevin Harvick in an interesting top ten. Here's one thing I know about Dale Jr. He tell he he tells you what he he tells you the truth as he knows it. He if he if he had intentionally hit Vickers, he would have said he did. And there's one thing I can tell you about that kid, and I've seen it year after year. He doesn't drive dirty, and he's really quick to admit if he makes a mistake. So Matt Kenseth at a backup car, slipping through for the lead, and now the victory in the rain shortened Daytona 500. And our Steve Burns is down there, Steve. Well, Chris, Matt Kenseth wins the biggest race of them all. Yes. Matt, what does it mean to you as a racer from the time you were a child to win this race? Oh, my goodness. It's uh, it's going to be really wet out here. probably going to cry like a baby, but uh, just really need to thank my team and uh, thank the Lord for giving me this opportunity, first of all. And uh, just uh, had a lot of great opportunities in my life with my uh, with my family and getting me into racing. And uh, really, DeWalt, Ford, uh, Carhartt, USD Sheetrock, Carnell Carriers, um, all the sponsors that we had that have stuck by us and made this happen in an up economy and a down economy. And, uh, man, I don't know, winning today from a 500 is definitely a G moment. It's just an unbelievable feeling. Matt, you've won the championship, but what does winning this race mean to you? I tell you what, after last year, winning a race means a lot to me. So um, it's really proud of these guys. It's uh, Drew's first race of the Cup Crew Chief. That's pretty cool. And uh, Chip for sticking in here with us and uh, really, really going through the deal and trying to make the team stronger, putting egos aside and making the team as strong as we can. And uh, these guys have been fired up and working hard. And um, it's just, uh, just unbelievable. Matt, you had a great practice yesterday. You guys ran more laps than anybody else. You told me your tires look good. When you went to bed last night, could you envision yourself a Daytona 500 champion? You just never know what's going to happen. Uh, we've had some really fast cars at the Speedways in the past, and I've just never been able to figure out how to do the right thing. And uh, today we are able to make the right moves. And, uh, you know, we got we got some weather, but, yeah, we did race 400 and some miles, and they're almost 400 miles, and uh, was able to pull it off. So um, I was pretty miserable by Friday night because we just couldn't make our car handle. And uh, this backup car is actually way better than a 500 car. And um, I felt pretty good going to this morning, but I didn't dream we were going to win. Congratulations, champion. It's flying through there. Dale Earnhardt Jr. unbelievably has caught Jamie McMurray as they come to turn four. He'll have to go to the high side, though. McMurray will guard that line. Yep. Crash at the back. Never mind. Green flag still out. Checkered flag in the air. The 52nd Daytona 500 McMurray. to Jamie yes. McMurray. Yes. Here, that 22 knows how to win from that position. That's where he won the bud shootout from. Edwards and Gilliland down to the inside. Try to Where did that 34 come from? Try to Gilliland. spoil the party. Oh and my they gosh. spoiled the party for Kurt Busch and Montoya. And here they come through turn four. Gilliland, former pole sitter of the 500. Edwards has room underneath. Now he pushes Trevor Bain. It's over. Cinderella Bain is going to win the day. Happy birthday, Trevor Bain, 20 years old. We've seen where the timing of where you do it is so critical. And, and those two cars, the 16 and the 88, should be able to get by, but Kenseth, if Biffle elects to take the chance. Ford, Ford, Chevrolet off the final corner. Matt Kenseth trying to win it for the second time. Here comes Junior to the outside. Side by side with Kenseth. He runs out of time. Matt Kenseth wins the Daytona 500. And it's one of the BK cars. It's the 93 of Travis Quapple. No caution. NASCAR, if the track is clear, they will let them finish. We are still green. And here come the leaders. Yeah, Mark Martin is really pushing Dale Earnhardt Jr. in that 88. Junior to the inside of Greg Biffle. The green flag still flies. Martin's number 55. Keslowski in the two. Biffle backing up. Patrick behind him. For the second time, the Daytona 500 goes to Jimmy Johnson.
five-time champion from Oklahoma, California, and his Rick Hendricks Chevrolet. And Kyle Busch was trying to make a third line at the top of the racetrack. Boy, here they come. Now, this is where it gets interesting. We've seen a lot of passes off turn four than a start-finish line, but that 88 is pulling away. Less than a mile to go. Oh, we got a wreck. Third-generation star, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Brings him to the flag. Checkered flag waving. It's over. It's Earnhardt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good job, June Bug. Reed Sorensen's race ends up in a crash. Harvick into the wall past the end of pit road and Carl Edwards 99 all torn up. Is, are they going to throw the yellow? Or are they going to let them race back? Seven, eight car pile up in the back straight away. Caution, Caution is out. Is out. Get, Jordan Caution. Logano. Keep coming. Just stay on the gas. Back straight away. Stay on the gas. Coming to easy here. They say they say roll out of the throttle. It's over, boys. Coming it's over. Middletown, Connecticut's Joey Logano wins the Daytona 500. Daytona 500, guys! <laughs> <laughs> he get up to third, maybe second. I just don't know if he's going to get all the way up to the lead, but here he comes. Got to run down the back. It's going to be a drag race off turn four, but I just don't see him being able to pull it off. He's getting, no no he's getting a big push. He's getting a big push. He's coming. He's coming. He's it's up to second. Woo! Hamlin to second. Watch the inside. Watch the inside. Mark Truex. Truex. Jr. Three wide. Truex to the bottom. Oh, no. No, no, no. Red. Kansas saves it. Here they come to the line. This is the finish of the Daytona 500. Come on. Side by side. Bouncing off each other. Unbelievable. I think it was Denny Hamlin. I have it as Hamlin. What a finish. Hamlin. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Woo. I'm telling you, I've got chills in my spine. That 21 coming on the inside. He a big push. Where'd he come from? Ryan Blaney wow, from the run. back with Logano. Oh, Blaney is out, out of gas. 42 is out of gas. Who else is going to run out? 21 is. I, I'm not so sure. Well, I think he's okay. He's still going. Now, if the 47 can get up behind the 21, give him a push, he might get there. But I don't know. I think this might be Kurt Busch's day. Looks like he's going to come home a winner. Kurt Busch has been the bridesmaid in the Daytona 500. Here they come off turn four for the final time. From Las Vegas, the 2004 champion of the series, Kurt Busch for Gene Haas and Tony Stewart wins the Daytona 500. <laughs> wow. Wow. First time he's won the 500. What about that? Side lane on the straightaways. It's going to be a big push back, coming on the top the lane. Moving up the same both lanes. Boy, this is going to take to the top lane. Going to have to be quick. Going to have to be quick. Almirola up to cover. Dylan, where will Dylan's he go? Dylan's going to get there. Oh, oh into oh, Almirola. Oh, Around he goes. Good. Hang on to it, bud. Hang on to it. And here it comes with the number three 20 years ago. 20 years of trying for Earnhardt. He won the Daytona 500. Austin Dillon wins the 60th running of the Great American Race. Got a car wrecked here. I think it's uh, Hamlin. Logano and Priest grew up together at the quarter midget tracks in Connecticut. And Logano looks low. Oh, top Kyle lane gets Bush filled. It's Kyle. Logano. Kyle Busch in the top lane. Logano on the bottom. McDowell, the second yellow car. Where will he go? I so interesting uh, that McDowell decided to go with Kyle Busch, but here comes Eric Jones on the inside. Denny Hamlin. Hamlin watch, off turn watch number out. four. No side by side battle to the finish this time. Denny Hamlin wins his second Daytona 500 and wins it for Coach Gibbs in Toyota. In the 11 car. Wow. What a day for J.D. Gibbs, for Joe Gibbs, for that whole team. Boy, that's storybook man. stuff right there. That was meant to Coming here. To no. the inside, Newman to the front. Nothing Denny Hamlin could do. What can Ryan Blaney now do? Here comes a push from Denny Hamlin. Oh, this thing's not over yet. Not at all. Ryan Newman off turn four for the final time. Blaney to the outside, oh. to the inside. Here comes Hamlin up the outside. Wow. Crash into the wall, into the air oh. goes Newman. Upside down. In a shower of sparks on his roof, Ryan Newman comes across the line fourth and comes to rest. Scoring unofficial.
between Hamlin and Blaney as far as who crossed the finish line first. Newman got turned, went up in the air as he came down, was hit by another car and launched skyward, coming down on his roof. The AMR safety team is there quickly to attend to Ryan Newman. A fist pump from Denny Hamlin who has won the Daytona 500 for the second year in a row. And the third time overall. Dylan have help. No, they come down to block. Logano goes back up. Keselowski with him. McDowell in tow. Dylan on the bottom. The runs on top. Oh! Teammates. Around they go in a hard crash. Kyle Busch. Kyle Larson. Caution is up. out. Bubba Wallace is in this. Austin Sendrick, hard hit by Kyle Busch. Caution's out. McDowell is first to the line, but will have to go back to the moment of caution, which ends the race. Brad Keselowski is climbing out. He's okay. Joey Logano, we see taking off the gloves and the steering wheel. I think McDowell's the winner of this race, well, guys. He was first to cross the line. NASCAR will review and have to determine the finish at the moment of caution. And we'll Boy, wait this for is official word. Be a huge win if that's the case. But Bob Jenkins front row motorsports crew is celebrating on pit road. Oh, wouldn't that be incredible? You're gonna see some emotion out of this oh, guy if this yeah. comes back official. A lot of tore up race cars. All the Chevy's torn up. You saw Priest with damage, Chase Elliott with damage. This was a, a really hard hit. Kyle Busch when he came in. Yes. And the AMR safety crew very quickly on the scene. Being directed. Look at the damage to the wall. It's a bumper cover up there. And there's Kyle Busch climbing out. That is a great sign, and that means everybody has climbed from their cars after a huge pile up on the final lap of the Daytona 500. And Michael McDowell from Glendale, Arizona, for Bob Jenkins Front Row Motorsports, has won the Daytona 500. How about that? Man. That's a huge win for Michael McDowell and that team. Doesn't get any bigger than this. And a huge crash for everybody else. <laughs> Here comes there another push from Kyle Busch on an outside. Even here. Cinder can't get too far Wait, out. Coming, coming to turn three where it all came undone last year on the final lap. Briscoe's out. He can't get to... Austin car. Sendrick, whose grandfather won the run. Indy 500 as a car owner. Sendrick is going to bring them to the line way up high to block Ryan Blaney. And at the line, Sendrick beats Bubba oh. Wallace by half a car length. And they crash going into turn one. <laughs> this race never disappoints. No, it does not. And David Reagan found one he couldn't miss. Austin yeah. Sendrick, the winner of the Daytona 500. If you remember in the going to get to him pretty hard, pretty quick. All right, Stenhouse gets the white flag. The next flag, flag ends it. Five. Three wide. All good. You got the help. Larson tried to go to the middle. Oh, he got turned. Larson Pastrana in the fence. We are Larson's still out. green. No, the caution is out. <laughs> and we'll wait for official word on whether Ricky Stenhouse or Joey Logano oh has won gosh. the Daytona 500. Come to the checker first, baby. Christopher Bell in the mix. Those three cars out in front of the crash. Slow down. They'll Slow have down. to cross the line, but one good. of them Locked in. will win the Daytona 500. What is Bell doing here? Oh. On the track. 
Caution and checker. Chevy, Ford, Stenhouse, Logano. Here is how this will be decided. It is not the flag, it is not the caution lights. It is NASCAR's decision as to where those two cars were when the button was pushed to activate the caution and Ricky Stenhouse has won the Daytona 500. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Daytona 500 winner. Let me tell you, that's been a long time coming.